doc underscore class dot logo underscore rotation semicolon. So we're basically saying import, all right, go to this directory, and then what you're going to be loading is this file name right here. And of course, it knows how to recognize an action, action script file. So once we set that up, we need to create a variable that will actually throw the movie clip that we create out onto the stage. But uh, we basically have to create a variable name that we can throw it inside of. So let's go ahead and do that by saying var logo underscore mc colon logo underscore rotation. All right, and what we're doing here is we're saying creating this variable and we're referencing, referencing our action script file. So what we want to say after this is equals new logo, oops, new logo underscore rotation. Opening, opening, closing parentheses, semicolon. What we're going to do is we're going to create a function that will actually throw this out onto the stage. So let's say function show underscore the underscore image underscore on underscore stage. And I know that's a long variable name. We only have to use it one more time. All right, so what we do here is we say opening parentheses event colon event closing parentheses colon void opening bracket add child opening parentheses and we just add our logo MC all right closing parentheses semicolon next line closing bracket okay and now we just need to put the uh, event listener in that will actually call it so let's say logo underscore mc dot add event listener opening parentheses event dot complete in all capital letters comma show underscore the image underscore on underscore stage all right and that's it okay and I'm gonna throw in something in here for now that I'm gonna just comment out because I'm going to come back and show you how to set this up later on. But uh, let's go ahead and type out logo underscore MC dot. And we're just going to set up the X and Y axis. All right, so I'm just going to comment these out. And we'll come around and play with that later. Now, how we do this is based on the actual image size and the bitmap that we set up. So um, this isn't going to be exactly at 100 and 100. But uh, you'll see what we're doing in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to get this out of the way here. And let's see. Okay. I'm going to come into my action script file. And we've got a lot of stuff to write here. Um, for starters, we need to import a bunch of flash display, a couple of events, some filters, the geometrics, and uh, just some utils, all right? So let's go ahead and set this up. Now, what we have to write here for our package is just the directory path. We don't have to include our actual uh, file name. So let's say package doc underscore class, since, this, since it is the directory that it's sitting in, opening bracket, well, let's do this how it normally is, opening bracket, import flash dot display dot bitmap semicolon and let's go ahead and uh, copy this right here we're going to be using this for a little bit all right so we're going to put import flash display dot uh, bitmap data semicolon import flash display dot bitmap data channel semicolon import flash display dot loader semicolon import flash to say display dot shape if I can type right semicolon all right and let's say let's add the uh, sprite and what we're gonna do here is instead of display let's go ahead and throw in events dot event semicolon import flash dot events dot timer event semicolon okay now we're going to go ahead and import our filters so we're going to say import flash dot filters dot uh, bitmap 
filter uh, quality. There we go. Import flash dot filters. Dot, uh, what is this? Um, displacement. Matte filter. Right there. All right. Import flash dot filters dot glow filter. Semicolon. Import flash dot geom dot point. Semicolon. Import flash dot geom dot uh, rectangle. Semicolon. Import flash dot net dot URL request. Semicolon. And the last one, import flash dot utils dot timer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the file up how you normally would, and we'll just kind of go back and plug everything into it. So what we need to do first is set up our public class so we can do the uh, sprite. So how we do that is by saying public class logo underscore rotation, which is our file name. If you put it anything other than the file name, it will not work. Extends sprite, opening bracket. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come down here a little bit and put a closing bracket. All right, in here, what we need to do is just plug in a public function. So we're going to say public function logo underscore rotation, opening closing parentheses, opening bracket. And let's go ahead and leave that there for now. Um, let's see. So I'm going to come back up to the top here. And what we need to set up is the bitmap that holds the image. 